Hi friends, my name is Fructose Corn Syrup today and welcome back to another episode of Frederick's Asian Kitchen. Last episode I made a vegan chocolate cake with my sister and I can't find the recipe still, so I'm just gonna give you another one in the description. I found the updated recipe, okay? So I'm sorry if you wanted that exact birthday cake. Get off my dick. Obviously this is a pre-recorded video. My birthday was last week. It doesn't mean I don't deserve a birthday wish, so I'll still take them. I'll take as many as you want, don't worry. I didn't wanna show this in that video because, you know, cooking is long and it's tiring and I'm filming two videos in a day, so give me a break. So if you don't know by now, cheesecake is my all-time favorite cake in the world. It is the top of all cakes. I don't even know if you can consider it a cake because there's no flour in it. Oreo cheesecake is a better version, I will admit, but I don't have Oreos today. And I'm also vegan now, so I can't really do the dairy anymore. Dairy and I are on a break. We've been having an issue for the past 10 years. Same with meat. Meat and my stomach don't get along. But I saw this recipe on Minimalist Baker, and this is a very popular website for anyone who is vegan and gluten-free. And let me just double check. Y'all vegans, everyone who's made this recipe is so emphatic about it that it has 4.77 stars out of 5 and that's 168 votes. If you're lying, I'm coming for you. I hold cheesecake to a very high standard, so I'm hoping that this tastes sort of like it. And if not, all right, that's fine. Just ruin my entire birthday week. Link will be in the description. And something is different today because I actually have bowls. You know what this is if you watched a cooking show. These are glass bowls that come in various sizes. See right here? Because I'm doing mise en place. And I know I'm probably pronouncing it wrong even though I took four years of French. Point is, mise en place means you try to organize your station and keep everything in place. Usually I'm not the most organized on this channel, so I'm trying to change things up. I'm trying to make things better for my sake and yours. Of course, I'm gonna show you the ingredients still because I need content. So let's look at the ingredient list. We're first gonna make the crust. You will need 3 fourths cup of gluten-free rolled oats, 3 fourths cup raw, 3 fourths cup raw almond, 3 fourths cup raw almond, fuck. 3 fourths cup raw almond. Three fourths cup of raw almond, one half tablespoon sea salt, two tablespoons coconut sugar or regular sugar, and four tablespoons coconut oil melted. Sorry, I had to set this one up. So here's all my ingredients. They said rolled oats, and you know what? Let me tell you, I went to my amazing store Wegmans to get the groceries. I don't know if all the vegans decided to make this recipe, but there were no rolled oats in that entire store. There was only old fashioned, so I'm Gonna have to work with this today. And I looked up the definition of rolled, it just means flat. I don't think it matters that much. So here's a half cup and then a one fourth cup. And also if this wanted to try me by doing it in grams, I have a gram measurer now. That's right, we invested. Look at her though, isn't she pretty? We don't have to use it for this recipe, but just so you know, I was ready. All right, three fourths cup of raw almonds. This is a side note, I don't know if anyone knows about this, but sunflower butter exists. And I know I have a bias with sunflowers, don't remind me, but I will say this is better than peanut butter. And it tastes great with almonds. Sea salt. This is so fucking extra, like one whole bowl for this. But it, look at this bowl. It's so cute. Oh, They asked for coconut sugar. I'm not gonna buy it because I don't really taste a difference. And I don't think it's gonna be the end all be all of this recipe. So we have regular sugar today. Two tablespoons. And then melt coconut oil. I am at my last with this coconut oil. I don't think this is enough, but it'll have to do. I think that's only two tablespoons, so if I have to, I'll add some butter to it. It's all oil at the end of the day. It just won't taste like coconut that much. Yeah, you see how that's already melted? That's how hot this room is. Like this video if your mom also refuses to turn on the air conditioning, even though it's 90 degrees today. Incoming comments. Well, I live in Texas and we have it man. I don't care, Timmy, if it's hot in Texas right now too. My point is I'm sweating. That's right. You saw that, this was in my apron, only professional. Okay, so I'm gonna get my blender now and we're adding the oats. Oh shit, you know, oh, why didn't they make these bowls angled? Like you couldn't give it a point at the end. Almonds, god damn it. Salt and sugar. Like I know it felt good organizing the ingredients, but I also could have just put it in the blender. And you wanna blend this until it's a fine meal. <laughs> Damn, get you a Nutribullet, man. Do you see that? It's like sand already. Once that's done, you're gonna add the melted coconut oil and add at least four tablespoons. You can add more if it's still too dry, but you wanna make a dough. I'm going to melt this. I'm going to get butter too. Add that much. It's about a storm, guys. On my birthday. That should be four tablespoons, I think. Do it in 15 second intervals until it's all melted. You gotta be kidding me. Who washed these dishes? I was getting the baking dish ready. There is a entire pool of water stuck in between these two. Gross. Oh, oh. 
Let's grow. That's so, no. Oh my God. Sorry, the idea of bacteria growing underneath my own baking dish. So this is slightly melted after 30 seconds. This is gonna keep melting if I keep mixing it around. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in. Oh shit. Maybe I should use the food processor. Work with me. Come on. Get it together. Moment of truth. Is this a dough? Yeah. And at this point you should preheat your oven and you're gonna line a standard loaf pan because this is a square cheesecake. It's okay, we're different people. I'm using a round baking dish. And I also have parchment paper now. I'm gonna be very excited to finally save these dishes and not use Pam all the time. Nothing against Pam, okay? We love you. So, oh, okay. Let's try this again. Hold on, how did Claire do this? She did this and then she got a pen. Are you kidding me? Motherfucker. Get a pen, outline, and then you cut it out. Then put the outline side face down. Perfect. Look at that. Now that that's done, I'm going to transfer this to the parchment lined pan spread evenly. That looks like a pretty good dough crust. I don't know if you remember last time I made a crust. <laughs> oh my God, I just wanted something to go right for once. Don't worry guys, I learned from all your Southern moms how to do it right now. I can't tell you how many DMs I got saying, my mom is from the South and she would never do it like that. And don't be afraid to make the sides a little bit thick because you wanna make sure that it's able to hold itself together. Do we have, a, do, do we have enough? Hold on. We're getting there, don't worry. Remember, this is a cheesecake. It's not supposed to be a thick crust. This will work. Oh my God, my hands feel disgusting. Can we normalize wearing gloves while cooking? Because, ugh. Okay, I'm almost there. It's like building a sand castle, guys. I told you this is exactly like sand. Literally wet sand is how I can describe it. I'm feeling with my hand. It's not really flat. There's a lot of bumps. So I'm just gonna do this for a little bit. Or, hold on. All right, Mr. SAT 1550, yeah. You see that? Fuck, cut the cameras, cut the cameras. That was like 90% perfect, so I'll take that. And it's smooth now. No way you're done already. All right, time to put it in the oven. Fast. You're gonna bake this for 15 minutes. Once that's done, you're gonna increase the heat to 375. Bake that for five to 10 minutes more or until the edges are golden brown and there's some browning on the surface. Until then, we're gonna work on the filling. Oh, <laughs> do you hear that? You heard that. This bottom is soggy. For the filling, you will need one cup raw cashews, one cup coconut cream, eight ounces vegan cream cheese, one tablespoon arrowroot or cornstarch, one teaspoon pure vanilla extract, two thirds cup maple syrup, one tablespoon melted coconut oil, two teaspoons lemon zest, one to two tablespoons lemon juice, one eighth teaspoon sea salt. I'm just gonna put this all in the blender. I don't think there's a reason to mise en place this because it looks like all my work of being organized is going to waste, so yeah, I'm annoyed. I didn't tell you this before, but it's your responsibility to read the instructions before watching this video. You need to soak a cup of cashews for at least one hour in hot water. To anyone who isn't vegan, cashews are the milk of cheese. Ba you have to use cashews for cheese. It's like a staple in the vegan world and it works pretty well. So I'm gonna drain all this hot water now, put the cashews in. Next, you're gonna add a cup of coconut cream. This says cream of coconut. I hope it's the same thing. And it has a soda can lid, thank God. Are you? <laughs> Today's not my day. On my birthday, birthday, you're gonna betray me like that. This does not look like, that's not white. Is it supposed to be white? What are you? How are you not white? Are you at the bottom? No, nothing at the bottom. What do you taste like? What? Oh, oh, the sugar level. How much sugar is in here? 34% sugar. Got it. Understood. I guess I'll freeze the rest of this. I don't know what to do with it. I'm not gonna use coconut cream ever in my life. Actually, I could drizzle that. I could drizzle that over ice cream. Oh! You're also gonna add vegan cream cheese. I don't know about you, but when I was vegan two years ago, we didn't have vegan cream cheese. We had vegan butter as the new best thing. Now there's like 50 brands at Wegmans. My friend tells me Kite Hill's the best. I've never had it before. I've heard a lot about Kite Hill though. They are known for having a vegan cheesecake that's ready to eat only at Whole Foods. Fuck you Whole Foods for not letting me have it. Oh my God, it's so good. Except, I don't know if you can see, this is the everything cream cheese. Meaning, give me a second, almond milk, dehydrated onion, poppy seed, <laughs> dehydrated garlic, sesame seeds, mushroom extract, a savory cream cheese is what I'm saying. On 
my birthday. Could it be that bad though? Like savory and sweet? You know what, there's no backing out. I did what I had to do. I made a mistake, but I'm going to push through it and I apologize if this comes out shitty. Please, please don't taste like gar onion. <laughs> Y'all, this is criminal. criminal. That is not allowed. Oh, I have to put the whole thing in. <laughs> you have to put eight ounces in. This is eight ounces, perfect. Oh no, oh, that's so much, guys. You're, you no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. <gasps> I even looked at it and I was like, why does it say everything? I'm a dumbass. I know, I'll own up to it. That is so good. Oh my God, I'm gonna be so sad if it tastes bad. Also, that is not cheap. That's not your Philadelphia $3 cream cheese. That's your $6 cream cheese. I hope you're worth it. You better, mm. <gasps> Get away. I don't know what arrowroot is. I just know it's a good thickener compared to cornstarch. So just one tablespoon. It looks and feels just like cornstarch. I think you'll be fine. But this is also another vegan staple. Two thirds cup maple syrup. You gotta be kidding. This happens to me only. Oh God damn. That's a lot. If that doesn't cover up the onion and the garlic flavor, I don't know what will. Next you're gonna zest two teaspoons worth of lemon zest. <laughs> and yeah. I got this because Claire from the Bon Appetit test kitchen told me to. Just zest the whole lemon. I think that's enough. Who cares if it's a little more zesty? That's, that's just zhuzhing it. Look at that beautifully zested lemon. It's perfect. The crust smells like graham crackers, let me tell you. But one tablespoon of melted coconut oil again and one to two tablespoons of lemon juice. Lemons! <laughs> As far as I know, this is the only lemon juicer that I approve of because you can see how many cups you have and how many ounces you have. Hey Google, how many ounces are in one tablespoon? One tablespoon is equivalent to 0 0.5 fluid ounces. To convert from tablespoons to fluid ounces, divide unit of volume by two. Thank you, Google. So basically I need one ounce of lemon juice. That's a little bit more than one ounce, so I'm just gonna pour almost all of it. This is just so efficient at making juice. Look at this. You may milk cows, vegans milk lemons. <laughs> I got it. I'm good. Doesn't this look disgusting? Like if you ever made vegan stuff, this doesn't phase you. Some people, that's disgusting to them. And one teaspoon pure vanilla extract. Is that a teaspoon? Yeah. Okay, that's all the ingredients. Now we blend. <laughs> I forgot to add sea salt. Actually, I don't need sea salt. Cream cheese has it. It smells like milk ice cream is all I'm gonna say. Oh my, hold on. That's not okay. All right, I don't know if it's the coconut cream that's doing it for me. This tastes exactly like cheesecake. I don't know if coconut cream is supposed to have that much sugar in it, but it's very sweet. So I actually need to put a little more lemon juice in it and probably some salt just to balance it out. But wow, just Chef's kiss there. Oh my God, minimalist baker, you have done it again. I'm gonna put a little more lemon juice. I'm literally not shitting you guys. I love cheesecake. This tastes like cheesecake. I can't, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my, I, I, I will not, I don't, I don't have words. Mac and, vegan mac and cheese is nothing compared to this. In perfect time, my oven's almost done. All right, I can see the poppy seeds. Shut up. Is my stomach still gonna die tonight? Yeah, but maybe less. I just. <gasps> Ooh, it's getting golden brown. Perfect timing, guys. Everything is now going my way, as it should. Cause it's my goddamn birthday. <laughs> Listen to my timer, hold on. Isn't that so cute? Lower your baking temperature to 325. See the golden brownness right on the outside? Okay, pour the filling over the pre-baked crust and spread into an even layer. Oh, sis. Oh, honey. We're also gonna tap just a little bit to make get rid of the air bubbles. Ideally, you want a pan that has a pop lid. I don't have that yet, so I'll figure out how to get this out of the thing later. Back in the oven, 50 minutes to an hour. Please don't spill, please don't spill right now. Oh, oh my God. At 50 minutes, check on it, but you wanna make sure the edges look very slightly dry. That's, I don't know if those adjectives work well together. And make sure the center appears only slightly jiggly, but not liquidy. When you shake it, it will have some give to it. Stick a toothpick through it. It's been an hour now. I spent all the time cleaning these dishes and I think it might have overcooked a little bit, but you know what? It's okay. I'm not gonna judge it by how it looks. It's definitely more set than when it could be because I spent the time doing makeup. It smells good. The only problem is I don't know how to get out of the pan. Like if I do this all the way around, it should in theory 
pop right out. I'm trying to get it to lift. It's not lifting. So I'm gonna do something risky. My dad is mowing the lawn, by the way, so apologies if you hear I'm gonna flip it. Thinking right now, like, in how many ways could this go wrong? You know what? Nope. I'm not risking it. I didn't hear anything. Oh. Oh, well, okay. So I know it overcooked because it smell a little burnt. I can work with that. Look, parchment paper gone. So I got this from Party City. It's a cake stand. And then we're gonna do this one more time. Flip it up. Flip. I should just put it on the cake stand to begin with. Oh. Okay, you know what? It's not ruined. Let me just taste it really quick. Oh yeah. Oh my God. It tastes like a cheesecake. That's all I care about. Does it look perfect? No, but since when have I made something perfect? And that's all I have for you guys. So if you haven't seen the birthday video, go watch it. And if you enjoyed, give it a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe for more videos every week, turn on my notifications, even though it doesn't matter because YouTube doesn't show you sometimes. And as always, I love you guys and everything is less than three. Oh, it just smells so good. It, it is actually so good, guys. Like you don't understand. Make it yourself, you won't regret it.